the things that has annoyed me most about the world ever since I first stepped into a lab is how much water gets shipped around entirely unnecessarily. When you go to the grocery store and you see like laundry detergent and big plastic jugs and spray cleaners and hand soaps, all this stuff, I do not understand why we are creating a bunch of plastic to put a bunch of water in when in fact the ingredients in those products are mostly solids that you yourself could dissolve in water at home. Now, there are some complexities here, and now that I've talked to some people who run businesses like this, I understand some of them. So, for example, some places have different water than others. There might be more or less mineral content in that water, and that can affect the final product when you are mixing a product together to make a hand soap, for example. But there are ways to solve these problems, and they are worth solving for two very big reasons. Number one, because water is heavy, and moving it from the place where they make Tide all the way to your grocery store is inefficient. It doesn't need to be that way. And number two, because liquids, when they get shipped around, have to go inside of thick plastic containers to prevent spills. I actually remember this when I was working at Walmart. Somehow some bottle of detergent got busted, like got poked in transit, and then it just leaked everywhere, and it's thick and it's smelly and it got all over everything. We had to throw everything away. And so you can't ship these things in like thin plastic. No, you have to ship it in the thickest plastic to prevent that kind of thing from happening because nobody likes it. But you don't have to. This is the thing, you don't have to. I've been thinking about this for ages, and I've been thinking whether or not I'd want to actually get in there and do the work to try and develop some products like these for years, probably over a decade.